Question three, multiply. You may want to use a generic area model to organize your work. And then there's this cautionary sentence. Remember that squaring a polynomial means that you are multiplying it by itself. And that's there to hopefully pull your attention to B. Um, maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't. But in B, we are literally squaring this, which means this is equivalent to a 2x plus 3 times another 2x plus 3. So I don't always need an area model to do these problems, but I'm going to use one for um, for now. So for A, um, this is a binomial times a binomial. So I have two things being multiplied by two more things. So I can represent it with this generic area model. The first thing I'll write across the top is there is an x and then there is a negative 1. And then down on the left-hand side, you can see there is a 2x and there is a negative 3. Um, make sure that you're picking up these signs, right? This is not just a, pl a plus 3. It's a negative 3 and it's a negative 1. Now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and multiply these dimensions, right? So this x, right, times 2x gives me 2x to the second power. When I multiply this negative 1 times this negative, I'm sorry, nope, times the 2x the, in blue, negative 1 times the, I'm getting, all, oh, I'm getting clever with the colors. Stop it. Uh, negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Now we'll go down to the bottom. Uh, this uh, yellow orange x times a negative 3 is negative 3x. That doesn't look like a negative 3x the way I wanted it to. Negative 3x. And then finally, negative 3 purple times negative 1 green gives me a positive 3. So I can see that two of my terms are like terms, and I can combine those in my final answer. But I should be writing that this product is equivalent to 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. So x minus 1 times 2x minus 3 is 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. Let's move on to part B. So in B, again, the cautionary tell was all about this. Again, I'm multiplying a binomial times itself. I'm squaring it. So this is the same as 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. Fabulous. So when I do that, I end up getting what? Well, let's see. Across the top, I'm going to go ahead and write a 2x and the positive 3. And then down on the side, a 2x and a positive 3. This first box is 4x squared. That's the 2x times another 2x. To the right of that, I have 3 times 2x, which is 6 times x. Uh, to the bottom left, I have 2x times 3, which is also 6 times x. And then in the last box down on the lower right, 3 times 3 is 9. So I can see all these parts, and those parts get down to the fact that when I multiply 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3, or when I square 2x plus 3, that thing is equal to 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. So don't forget the 12x, right? If this is not part of your answer, right, you're, when you multiply those two values, you're, you're, you're missing some things out there. So make sure you get all the components that make that product. Then finally, for C, uh, simplest form of this distributive property, right, is this monomial times a binomial. I could use an area model don't need an area model. But if I was to write one, it would be a 2x, and I'm multiplying that by a 3x and a negative 5. Uh, 2x times 3x is 6x to the second power. And then 2x times negative 5 is negative 10x. So this product is the same as 6x squared minus 10x. All right, so that is it for question number three.